trending news. The suspension of Twitter by the federal government has proven to the civilized world that they are weak. Femi Fani Kayode reacts. You will agree with me that since yesterday, after the Minister of Information, Lai Muhammad, announced the ban on Twitter from operating in Nigeria, the Nigerians received the news with mixed react feelings as many reacted to it in different ways. The former aviation minister of PDP chieftain, Chief Femi Fani Kayode, blasts the government via its Twitter, official Twitter handle some minutes ago as toss. The suspension of Twitter by the federal government has proven to the civilized world that they are weak, unstable, paranoid, insensitive, vindictive and also delusional it is a great abuse of power and a perfidious insidious and brave brazen attempt to deny the nigerian people of their right of freedom of speech the suspension of on twitter by the federal government has proven to the civilized world that they are weak unstable paranoid insensitive it is a grave abuse of power and a perfidious, insidious, and also raven attempt to deny the Nigerian people of their rights. It is obvious that majority of Nigerians are not happy with the recent and unfortunate development. Check out some of the reactions below. See reactions of some Nigerian youths. When things fall apart, not only center will not be able to hold the government has lost sense of direction the victory of evil over good is only but temporary this is not 1967 this is 2021 just like a drowning man clinging on to slippery f uh, surfaces soon very soon i beg help me with your own vpn login I know say your own no strong well well was strong well well. Just like it be up we be our friends, our Odudua breathing should continue to march forward to the promised land and go live and govern. The type more than what we are experienced abroad, Nigerian is cancer. It is not ban, it is a compulsory Twitter retirement for those with little eye sitting knowledge. Or those who are too old to understand, and I'm Twitter from UK from UK right now. Let them continue. She Aisha don't deactivate our own account. Sha, we are waiting for Buhari to do this own. So I beg, she him will they follow us. Use P N B N. That is it. Another person also said, Excuse me, sir. Are you also using VPN or you are with me in Dallas? I wake up this morning to confirm truly that Twitter have been banned. Clueless regime. Indeed, they have suspended Twitter and this is so bad for our democracy. I woke up this morning to check my messages only to discover that Twitter has been banned. I had a down, I had to download VPN. This is so bad. Where is this country heading to? The last comment says, "You are right, and I just got up now and decided to tweet, but unfortunately, it's not responding. Then I have to open my VPN. This government is so clear; they should ban the use of VPN now and now." Thank you for listening to the comments of. Nigerian citizens really felt about what is going on. You can imagine. Hmm. This government is so shameful. It's a shame to Africa. How can a democratically elected government treat us this way? They don't even want us to talk about uh, to talk again. They don't want us to to, to keep giving our free words can you imagine 
This is worse than what we got in the military era back then. But our souls will definitely continue to rest. They, they, our souls will continue to rest on God alone. And their souls will never rest in peace until they stop molesting, they stop deceiving, they stop attacking, they stop insulting uh, uh, innocent, you, uh, uh, innocent Nigerians. That is it. God is the only one to rescue us from these calamities. Yes, he's the holy one. You can imagine. You can imagine. This is not fair. The way they are treating Nigerians, I don't know. The way the federal government have decided to make life miserable for Nigerians, I don't know. What have they done to them, especially uh, Namdi Kanu? You can imagine. People like Fire she warned us severally, but we never listened. We never listened. We never want to listen. If Bukhari can have his way, then he is willing to shut down the to shut down the start into darkness. Then he will kill all sultanans at night and in the morning. Lai Muhammad will continue and tell the world that Nigerians have run away overnight and that it is only the Fulanese that has, that, that, that have stayed or that will stay. Lai Muhammad that is a liar. He lies too much. He says things that is not even uh, uh, real. You can imagine. In a contemplatory world of today, it is obvious that Nigerian government lack the vital tools. They lack the ba basic intelligence, the fundamental disposition, uh, dis disposition, the charisma of purposeful governance. This is a clear manifestation of leadership with blunt head, incapable of uh, steering the country on the path of development. Is a sick government, a government with crude and idiotic tendency and ideas. They don't have sense at all. But if they do, they won't be sitting and watching things and good things. They don't won't be watching, watch, sitting and watching this all these calamities happening in this country without making any move. This government is a full, is full of deceit. They are incompetent. They are confused, as far as I'm concerned. You can imagine. They are so confused. People vote you in in power, and uh, at the end of the day, you you you. You, you alone as a different body of people who are e e enemies. They voted for you and at the end of the day, you betray them. You promise them heaven and hate. And at the end of the day, you never fulfill your, any of your promises. Is that no wickedness? Is this a good government? You can imagine. Is this a good government? This is not fair. This government is very wicked and I will keep saying it. They don't like Nigerian citizens because they don't listen to them in a religious way. Let's listen, please listen to Nigerian people as they advise you. But they will not listen. Instead, they will, the next thing is if you tell them the truth, they will be looking for how to arrest and persecute you. Is this fair? This is not fair. They don't listen to the truth. That's their problem. And they say the truth will set you free. To them, the truth is very bitter. It's bitter, but they don't want to listen. So viewers, your take on this will be very much important. Please, don't hesitate to drop your own comments and your opinion. Thank you.